Hello everyone, this is Ashley Tucker. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm going to be using the Wish Upon a Star stamp set from Mama Elephant. I have a piece of Gina K Designs in the navy cardstock in my mini misty tool and I prepped that piece of paper with some powder because I'm going to be heat embossing a sentiment from that stamp set. I used Versamark ink to stamp that sentiment, and that sentiment says, I love you to the moon and back, and I'm embossing that with alabaster white embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. Next, I took the cloud image, as well as a bunch of the small stars that come on the stamp set, and I put them onto some acrylic blocks, and I'm stamping them all over the background using the Versamark ink. This time I'm not using the Versamark ink to do any embossing, and I'm instead using it just for the watermark effect that it creates. I really love using Versamark ink to create some subtle patterns in the background of my cards. The next thing that I did is I took out the Cloud Infinity die set from Hero Arts, and I cut out a whole bunch of different size clouds using Nina White cardstock as well as some vellum. I arranged all of those clouds along the bottom edge of the card until I was happy with the placement, and then I started gluing them together using Gina K Designs Connect Glue. I find it really helpful when I have a lot of pieces arranged like this to use my phone to take a picture of the arrangement so that I can use that picture as a guide as I start to put it together. One thing that I kept in mind while I was figuring out the arrangement for these clouds was I wanted to make sure that I placed the vellum clouds in a place where I could easily hide the adhesive that was holding them down. If you have a Xyron sticker maker, you can run your vellum pieces through that and then you don't really have to worry about hiding the adhesive because if the adhesive is completely over the entire back, you're not going to see it. But I actually don't have a Xyron sticker maker. Maybe someday I'll pick one up and then I'll be able to try that. Once I had that first big batch of clouds glued down to my background, I used some scissors to cut any excess off of the edge. And then I took the remaining two clouds and I glued them down. And then I did the same thing and cut off the excess that was hanging off of the side. I took that entire background and I used my ATG gun to adhere it onto an A2 size card base. Alright, so now I have this little bunny image that's sitting on the moon and you don't actually get to see me color this image in this video. I actually colored this in a video not too long ago and I'll put a link to that video up in the top corner so that you can see the coloring of this bunny if you're interested. I colored him in using my Arteza markers and I actually colored in a couple of bunnies that day and I didn't end up using all of them so now I'm using one of the leftover bunnies. I popped him up on the card using some foam tape and then I took my Wink of Stella glitter brush and I went over the vellum clouds. Next I took a small bottle of glossy accents and I went over the entire moon. I wanted to make this moon really special. I wanted it to be the standout piece on this card. So after I went over it with that glossy accents, I took out this unicorn dust glitter from Simon Says Stamp and I sprinkled that on top of the glossy accents and that's going to make it really, really sparkly. I tapped off any excess glitter into that coffee filter, which makes it really easy to pour the extra back into the jar. Now I did have a little bit of the glitter stick to the Versamark ink in the background, but I was able to take a cloth and easily wipe all of that away. I also added a little dab of glossy accents to the star that's hanging on the moon. Finally, the last thing that I did to finish up this card is I took some star sequins, which I got out of the coconut ice sequin mix from Lucy's Cards, and I glued them down using some Gina K Designs Connect glue, and then this card is all done. And here's a closer look, and you can see all of that gorgeous sparkle on that moon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you really enjoyed this card design featuring that Wish Upon a Star stamp set from Mama Elephant. All of the supplies that I used for today's card can be found in the description down below. If this is your first time on my channel and you enjoyed watching today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I have new card videos every single week, and I'm going to be back with another one on Friday. 
Again, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I hope you have a good day today.